Hello, what's going on YouTube fam? This is your boy Jay Money here and I'm bringing you guys another deck profile of something that a lot of people might want to start taking interest in before Cybernetic Horizon. And that is Cyber Dragons. Now, well, here's how this went. I played in a local and I won against every single matchup except for one, one matchup. That matchup is, of course, Trick Stars because, like this deck, like windups, like Mermails or all that, um, so many decks that really rely on uh, specific pieces to be in hand uh, for reveals, like Windup Shark, like Galaxy Soldier, like Revealing for Megalo, all that stuff. All these decks that rely on certain cards in hand to go off literally fall to one thing, and that is. The goddamn Trickstar Reincarnation. Reincarnation needs to... Something needs to be dealt with that. See, now I'm, now I'm figuring if your deck has a problem with just Reincarnation um, and needs certain things in hand to go off and resolve so, you know, you don't just get fucked on a reveal because Reincarnation is just a card, then I suggest either playing three copies of Ash Blossom Three copies of Hatronade so you don't run into that problem so it's off the board. Or just main deck red reboots. One of those three options, if your deck, uh, like a deck like Windups, because I'm thinking about it, I'm really thinking about it, maining any of those combination of cards um, for reincarnation. If, like, literally, if I see I'm playing against Strixers and I have an action hand, I will literally just keep it in hand until it's time for me to play my turn. Just so I can ask the reincarnation so my plays don't get disrupted. So, that might be an idea, but... Anyway, this build is fairly different, and you'll see why. Uh, this build is a super, super turbo build. Um, that is meant to just even, just, just win the game. Uh, turn to, you. I mean, it is Cyber Dragons, mind you. So you still want to blind go second, and we got the new cards in here, so... We got three Cyber Dragons, um, very, very standard. Uh, three Galaxy Soldier, also standard. Uh, put Cyber Dragons in the gate in the uh, graveyard and make Cyber Repair Plant live. And it's a level five that searches. Uh, but watch out for Drone Lockbird because fuck that card too. Um, anyway, we got three cores. Um, probably the best normal summon in this deck. It searches you. Uh, the more cyber spell and traps that come out, the stronger this normal summon becomes, and all that good stuff, so. Uh, too dry. I won't be playing these when the new Cyber Dragon uh, support comes out, because I won't need them. Because one is already going to treat itself as level 5 anyway. So, yeah. And plus, this can only get the effect on normal summon. If it can get it on special summon, that'd be, that'd, then it'd be good. Uh, but for now, no. And personal check to us in mind, one copy of A, B, and C. Uh, because we are, I mean, if you're playing Cyber Dragons, you're playing Chimera Tech Rampage. And what better way to just further just uh, accelerate uh, busted plays than to send two ABC pieces, attack three times, and still make a Buster Dragon because that's not broken at all. Alright, now where things get a little different, we also have three card troopers because we want to go ahead. And, uh, since we are playing Machine Duplication in the deck, obviously, um, it's like you play three, you play zero, uh, when it comes to Machine Dupe. You want to see it as soon as possible, because seeing a Cyber Dragon Core, especially with the release of Emergency Cyber, is almost guaranteed every opening hand. Um, except with this, it gives you an option to, just in case, if you have, like, an original Cyber Dragon in hand, and you have a Machine Dupe, um, you basically just won the duel. Uh, because you're going to mill 9 cards, and you're going to have 3 19 beaters. Uh, you're going to clear their board, obviously. Um, and they're all machines as well, so you can use them for things like Cleefor Genius and other cards I've teched in here as well that I will show you. Uh, 1 and 2. Um, you want more of these because they are machines uh, that you can search off of uh, Cyber Network if you really... Or not Network, uh, Repair Plant if you really, really need to. And this, because it's a light monster. I hate how these both have the same attack, but a lot of times, um, after I show you some of the cards I'm playing, you'll want to put this in either Zone 2 or Zone 4, uh, for a myriad of different reasons, as I've uh, figured out um, while uh, testing. And the last monster, we have one copy of Cyber Tannin, 
because it is a way to out the entire Goki board because it does not destroy, it does not target. Um, it it um, sends everything to the graveyard. Uh, no target. Um, and it's searchable now. You can well, you, we were always able to search it with um, what was it? Uh, ah, Cyber Repair Plant. I keep forgetting that name, but now you can search it with Emergency Cyber as well. So one copy of Cyber L10 is absolutely amazing when it comes to Trigate because especially if you if your opponent knows you're playing Cyber Dragons and you activate Emergency Cyber, they can literally sit there and just go negate uh, with Trigate because oh man they uh, they're gonna search the Cyber Dragon and I'm gonna lose my extra link so. Believe it or not, Trigate is so easy to bait on this deck because they know you're playing Cyber Dragons and they don't want to lose their extra link to a 3600 Mega Fleet that's going to do a ton of damage. Now, best spell in the entire deck, three machine duplications. Enough said. <laughs> like literally, like if you open two of these in hand, you, you still win. Because you can literally go Cyber Dragon Core in Zone 2 or Zone 4. Uh, search up Repair Plant Machine Dupe into two Cyber Dragons, link both the Cyber Dragons into a Clee Fort Genius, um, play Cyber Repair Plant, shuffle one of the Cyber Dragons back, and the Machine Dupe two more Cyber Dragons in both of his zones, search. Like, it, it's too strong. You literally win the game if you open two Machine Dupes, and it has happened before. If you, But I promise if you get the Ultimates, you'll see it a lot more because you will always open Ultimates like every game. Um, I'm testament to that because I play Ulti Brilliant Fusion and you'll see that like every other game. So next best uh, spell in the deck, through your prayer plant. Um, the fact that you can add any light machine uh, makes it uh, a little bit better in my opinion over Emergency Cyber even though Emergency Cyber can recover itself. Um, if Emergency Cyber gets negated by Trigate it's not going to be able to recover itself. Um, Next, we got three Cyber Emergencies be, well, because it serves any Cyber Dragon monster, or light machines that can't be normal, but, see, that's the problem with that. You can't search Kaijus, um, and you can't search Galaxy Soldier like you can um, Cyber Repair Plant, and you can't search the ABC pieces if you need them. Uh, next, we got the Power Spells. Uh, two Power Bond and two Overload Fusion. We are, we are definitely abusing this a lot more because of the car troopers with the car troopers this is much more live uh much more often and i do need to get some hollow versions of these uh things as well so with this being said so, so we are playing a blind going second deck and decks are like anything that says sky striker or trickstar in the name or playing back row we are definitely playing three hate grenades i've actually resolved this every single match except for round one no, 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 I did resolve it. Wait. Okay, never mind. I, I didn't resolve a round two. So every single round I resolve this card. And when you resolve this in a deck like Cyber Dragons, you are good to go. Uh, playing, unless you're playing against Trick Stars and they just decide to just say, you know what, fuck it, if my end's game bounce, I'm flipping reincarnation, then, well, that kind of sucks. Uh, Muscle Reborn. What, oh, which which makes me want to, you know, actually trade these out for red reboots in the main deck because fuck reincarnation. A Monster Reborn, Kaiju Slumber, and one trap card, which is a cyber network, because if you're getting hit with reincarnation, you need this cyber network as a backup to be able to um, get your stuff back. The smart play with this is to not flip it over, but let the light stage target this and don't respond and let it go to the graveyard on the end phase. Don't activate it, it'll be sent to the grave and network will trigger and summon all your banished uh, light machines uh, to the field, which is really powerful. And I've done that to some Trickstar players, it blew them out because of it. Um, it's a very smart play. If you wanna play around Trickstars, that's the way to do it, right there. Um, you know, if you if you can't get around those reincarnations, then, then fuck it. You know, to let it just let it happen, and then uh, set the network, and let the network uh, put you back in the game. All right, next uh, for extra deck, uh, we're gonna start with the XCs because that's what applies pressure to our opponent. Two Nova, two Infinity, and one Pleiades. That's it. That's really all you need. Um, you don't need to rendell because you're not playing Waking the Dragon. 
Um, you just don't have the space for it. Uh, next for the Link Monsters, we got uh, Clee for Genius. I mean, the whole deck's machine, so. Uh, Nightmare Goblin. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna go in and reveal it. This card has really uh, took this deck to new heights. And that's Summon Sorceress. Summon Sorceress um, is honestly really easy to summon in this deck. Especially if you're playing Kaijus. This is why I recommend summoning things over Zone 4 or Zone um, 2. Because if you resolve a Sheen Dupe, this is guaranteed. If you go Card Trooper, Mill 9, and you just make a Summon Sword and target this, um, because it's a machine and you summon any of your ABC pieces, like let's say I decided to summon a B, or if you don't even have this and you did some Machine Dude plays and some Galaxy Soldier plays, and you go Summon Sword, you summon this, uh, you can link off the Summon Sword and uh, whatever piece you made and search, and then you go Galaxy Soldier, pits the card you search, and you're likely making Buster um, off of that. Now, there is one mistake I made, and that is by playing Underclock Taker, because we, I do need some Link 2s, and I wanted to be able to OTK, but most of the problems I had was the only Link 4 I had in my extra deck was a Borlo Dragon, and a Link 3, um, like, considering Borlo Dragon takes at least 3 muscles to make, if I was to make Borlo Dragon with Summon Sork, uh, Summon Sork would always be one, worth one material, and that's really what has fucked me over a lot of times, because I couldn't really do anything outside of the Summon Sork, and I would like try to link that in a piece into an Underclock Taker, and then at this point, I have the option to either make Infinity or Buster, and I can't do both. So, with that being said, I decided to take this out and put in a Skull Dread for the next time I uh, play a tournament, so I can link the Summon Sork in a piece, into this, granted I won't get the special summon from hand, but I clear up those zones, uh, which were, which is really what matters, so, uh, uh, that's just some, some notes that I ended up taking from that, and obviously the last link we play is Borlo Dragon, uh, because it's Borlo and we're going for OTK, and it's hard to deal with. Uh, next, the reason why we even win the duels in the first place, the fusion monsters, ABC Dragon Buster. We got it at one copy for now. I um, want to make space for two. Um, two Rampage Dragon because these are incredibly important, be uh, especially if you're going to get uh, the Trickster matchup because foot back row. Um, next, one copy of Mega Fleet because that's all I have. And my absolute favorite card in the entire game of Yu Gi Oh! Um, is Chimera Take Over Dragon. This is why I play Card Trooper and. Um, in the deck like at any capacity is because of the fact that troop dupe you mill nine cards um you want to you know fueling it just gives you an option it gives you it gives me a one-shot kill option uh, in case i don't want to go to a grind game just load up that graveyard super fast and just make this and attack over a bunch of shit and you win the duel this is literally my favorite card in the entire game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Ever since I saw the birth of Dark Zane or Hell Kaiser, as people saw it, and I saw this monster get summoned, like, I forget how many years ago it was. It was so, so long ago. I totally forget what year it was. I might have been, like, in 7th grade or 8th grade or some shit like that. But ever since I saw that monster, I instantly fell in love with it, and that's been my favorite card in Yu-Gi-Oh! ever since. And that has not changed. That card is, will always be near and dear to me. Now, I do want to get the ultimate first ed, but that card is super expensive. It's like $115. Like, all the Cyber Dragon stuff are just so, so expensive that it's like, man, the ulti first Cyber Dragons are like $100. The, uh, the fucking Cyber End Dragons are like $90. The ultimate power bonds are like $60. The fucking, um, the overload fusions, the ulti overload's like $45. Like, you gotta be kidding me. The whole thing's expensive. But anyway, for the side deck, uh, people will often try to make you go first, because they know you're playing cybers. So you will side these in. You will side the guitar and the mics. Um, it gives you an option to, uh, still make a board. And, uh... 
I believe Summer Dragon Core is not a hard once per turn on the normal summon. Uh, da, da, da. You can only use one Cyber Dragon Core effect per turn and once that turn. Okay, never mind. So Core is hard once per turn. Uh, that's my mistake. But anyway, uh, there's an engine for going first. Uh, that's. The, uh, all right. So that's going first. More going first. Uh, Rivalry of Warlords. You can't play there. Can you cannot play there? Can only be one because the deck is primarily machines. So you don't want to do that. Uh, most certainly, you don't want to do that. Uh, next. We have Twin Twisters, in case you need to be a little bit quicker. Uh, if you're playing against something with Floodgates, like uh, I did yesterday, Anti-Spell, I sighted those in, and it wasn't a problem. So, yeah. Uh, next, uh, more techs. We got a Magnet Reverse, because it's really good in any machine deck. Um, it brings back Infinity, it brings back Novas, uh, it brings back Buster Dragon, it, being, it basically can bring back any machine with a level... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh no, it doesn't have to have level or rank, just any machine that cannot be a normal summoner set. So any machine monster that resides in your extra deck, you can summon it. So there's that. And uh, next we got the two in Cyber Dragons. Uh, to reinforce going second, um, you don't have enough space for, um, what's his name, uh, Tune Table. But you need to be able to... Um, just if you want to, if it's really urgent to see Cyber Dragon that much, um, and your opponent won't let you search, just side three more of these, and you and you get it. So yeah. yeah. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And last side deck card is uh, the second Dragon Buster. In case you need to go for that grind game. So uh, there's that. Um, let me know what you guys think about the uh, profile that I put up. Again, this is a different take on Cyber Dragons. This is a uh, much more turbo-ish, kind of fuel the graveyard kind of build for uh, this deck, and I like it. But once again, um, the there is one big fatal flaw in the deck, and like the consistency just shot through the roof just with the inclusion of just one card, and that's Emergency Cyber. But there's still one fatal flaw, and that is tricks are reincarnation. And there, you know, you have to have an effective way to an effectively um, to effectively deal with that card, and not, you know, go out of your like some some obscure way. Like I play hate names. Now it doesn't effectively deal with reincarnation because sometimes your opponent will flip it over, sometimes they won't. So I feel like a card like Red Reboot, if you're not playing Ash Blossom, is good. I'd rather play Red Reboot because if your opponent is playing Reincarnation, they are likely playing Impermanence and maybe some other trap cards in that instance. So that is in Red Reboot is a counter trap and it sets everything and it's also good against decks like Alter Guys or True Dracos, any other deck that wants to play a lot of Floodgates. So I'm leaning more heavily towards uh, Red Reboot. So again, I want to hear you guys' feedback on Cyber Dragons in particular if you want to see some combos I will show you um, just how uh, awesome uh, card trooper plus machine duplication really is but the reason why you play machine duper 3 is because you have multiple targets not just card trooper but obviously core for those who play cyber dragons but that's enough rambling thank you guys very much for watching this is J Money and I am signing out